Hi friends, once again welcome back. So this video will help you to download your COVID certificate without using the COVID login mechanism. So basically if you have registered in COVID, you should have a mobile number which is registered with COVID and using the mobile number you are going to log into the COVID. This is a normal procedure. So suppose you are not having or your mobile number given to COVID was wrong, you can use this method. But before starting or watching the video, remember friends, you should have two things okay you should have an aadhaar number as well as you should have a reference id so what is the reference id reference id will be given in your vaccination certificate or once you register in covin reference id would have come to you so if you are not having reference id do not watch this video it's a time waste for you don't waste your time so let me start so basically you should have the aadhaar number as well as you should have a reference id okay let us start so the procedure is something like this you are going to download digilocker many of you should would have already downloaded digilocker in your mobile but if you are not having you are going to get it from android play store or maybe for iphone also app store so i am just installed and opening the digilocker here so as you can see here this is the digilocker first time when you open you get something like this and you are going to set it up first uh, if you have already set up you can quickly skip this step and as you can see here on the home page there is a COVID-19 vaccination certificate option you can click there once you click there you can click on get started and it will ask you to sign in if you have not yet signed in you can use create account otherwise you can use sign in mechanism so I will quickly show, show you the create account method I will not create it but I will show you what are the details you need to create an account you need to give your full name clearly it is given as per Aadhaar okay name as per Aadhaar and mobile number six digit pin email ID Aadhaar number your date of birth after entering all this you are going to submit then there will be an OTP coming to your mobile and it will also uh, ask your six digit pin and stuff. After setting it up, you are going to sign into your account. This is the method to sign into your account. Signing can uh, signing in can be using Aadhaar number or mobile number. Otherwise, there is one more option username based. Username will be usually a name or an email ID. Okay, that is as per your setting. So I just give my mobile number here and click on continue and I get an OTP in my mobile which is already registered here in the digilocker using Aadhaar. Okay, basically it will be an Aadhaar linked uh, mobile OTP. Enter the OTP and click on submit. You are registered to the digital uh, digilocker and it will show your login name. You can use the continue uh, using uh, the same login or you can use even uh, click on second option and change the username because now username is email id you can change it to single username. So I uh, continue with the current one click on ok and it says username updated successfully. Now I can sign in the same method ok this is only the first time you have to do all these things I had shown you this uh, mechanism for registration now I am going to sign in so I am using Aadhaar here ok directly Aadhaar number not mobile number I am using Aadhaar number and logging in so this Aadhaar number should be uh, of the person who is looking for COVID certificate ok so you register using the same person's Aadhaar number otherwise it may not work and after that enter the OTP coming and enter submit and you are into the home page and here you get a search option click on the search option once you click on search option uh, there will be a search bar coming in here you can search just co 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 for covid and you can see the option covid 19 vaccination certificate okay just search for co co and once you click there it is going to ask you the beneficiary id i have already told you by default it takes your aadhaar name and uh, date of birth so you are supposed to find your uh, beneficiary id where we can get it two places you can get your beneficiary id already if you have a certificate of your covid vaccine any old certificate or whatever old hard copy you can get beneficiary id here it will be usually 14 digit id will be given in your covid vaccination certificate okay that is one method so if it is not there you should have stored it or you should have got an sms or it, you can also get from your covid portal like this clearly to be given as a reference id 14 digit under your name okay i understand for getting this you should have already logged into covid but this will help the people who already have a manual certificate 
and you want to download a digital certificate so basically you should have the reference id and after entering that click on submit you can see here request is pending message is coming okay you can also refresh this covid vaccine certificate they are fetching your certificate see here request is pending and after that you can click uh, click on a refresh also you can uh, click on the right side uh, icon and you can click on retry it will keep on retrying it might take some time and after some time it get uh, it is uh, keep on retrying and it is gone and if you can scroll down bottom it would have come already okay so do, do not get the panic that it is getting vanished but at the bottom you can get it covid vaccination certificate click on the right side on uh, uh, three line dot here this is the dot i am talking about you can click and view it will show your details also you can click on uh, view pdf it will download your certificate i will show you how it is just click on view view pdf and you can see here your certificate is downloaded okay this is the simple method you can use to download your covin certificate so friends you can even try it for any other person also you can even add one more person but make sure uh, his reference id is known to you okay if it is not working you can use that person's aadhar number and download and this is the same process you can see here add covid certificate after entering reference id and it keeps on refreshing here this is the main thing you have to keep refreshing this page see see here request is uh, being uh, sent it keeps on showing you this message and you can click on right side icon and retry and it will say request is pending once done on the bottom of the page you can scroll down and you can see the vaccination certificate so keep retrying is the mechanism here until you get covid vaccination certificate downloaded okay so this is the working method and if it is not working you have no other mechanism okay so once it is working you got an option click on the right side uh, icon here and then view pdf you can download so i have tried with two persons id and it worked for me with reference id itself okay for one person it didn't work so maybe i have to download using his aadhar card and i have to register in digital using his aadhar card then try and download thank you so much if you like the video kindly give us a like also please share and subscribe see you with another informative video thank you so much